just going to present quickly for Sebastian the dynamic web map server for accessing and downloading HSC data products, which is, um, it's not going off my time. Um, I kind of, okay. Um, <clears throat> So, which is uh, actually meant to be complementary to archives, um, and it should not replace them. But uh, we thought it was it was um, needed that we can easily scroll through these large image products and easily download them to to make them GIS ready. Um, so that's the most important information I'd like to convey. That's the address. Um, I can talk about that during the, the next session um, if you like. Um, so we're using Apache web server, GDI libraries, blah, blah, blah. So you can read it, uh, it's like a bit technical stuff. Yeah. You don't know how many slides I have. <laughs> um, based on open uh, layers two, uh, it needs to be updated anyway. So this is what the interface looks like. This is not HRC, this is Mola, of course. But this is the full screen um, window actually when you access that website. So, and you have the context menu over here, um, which is starting to grow, of course. Um, <clears throat> so these are the footprints for level four products that have been released as version 50 plus. Um, you can click on each footprint and you have a, um, a context menu telling you some information, the date of imaging, solar longitude, incidus angle, uh, projection, center longitude, uh, what kind of products, so at this moment it's Nadia, terrain model, and the pen chromatic, uh, the pen sharpened image via a IHS um, method. Image scale, and you can click on the preview, and if there's color data available, you can click on IHS. Um, and you can download them as JPEG 2000 or GeoTIFF. So if you click on it, you can have a quick browse image, a bit dark here, but this is the Nadia. Um, and well, if there are multiple footprints that overlap, you have, of course, multiple entries. So you can decide what, to, what you want to see. This is the uh, pen sharpened image. Again, a bit dark, unfortunately, but you can uh, look at it on the website. That's level four coverage. That's level three, which is also available. It's a bit more dense. Um, here you have the, the possibility um, to choose between these different types. So there's no DTM for level three, of course. There's some context information if you're interested, like the Omega pyroxene map or the Omega um, olivine map, and there will be other context information available. Two minutes, thank you. Um, which looks like this, more or less. So finally, what are the plans? So we want to focus on HRC, this is not the intention to put all the different images, uh, image data products into this system. Um, as soon as the official products are in the official mosaics that Klaus is going to talk about um, are released to PSA, we plan to include them here in this WebGIS. Um, we plan to include more metadata inf data information, maybe with some search um, um, uh, tools so you can pick out data that you like. Um, some more base maps, switch to open layer three, and actually we'd like to hear from you what you would like to see. And if you've forgotten the address, there it is. And if you've forgotten that one, just visit our website at FU Berlin and you can click here on download HRC data. And this is it. Thank you. Thank you.